I want to talk about removing fold lines from a photo. You can see the before and the after in this example. I'm going to just zoom this up a bit here. You can see the bottom one here is a lot better looking. Uh, I'm going to go up to the top here. You can see fold lines. We get this uh, from a lot of family photos that were not properly stored. Uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to crop this out, the background, and we'll go through this. I'm going to give you a quick review of this, <clears throat> and you can finish this on your own. I don't think people like 20-minute tutorials. Uh, we got that here. I'm going to float this to a new layer. And I do a control shift L to adjust the color lighting. That is hideous. I undo. There's different ways of fixing these fold lines, okay? I could use, which is in the newer versions of except, uh, the spot healing brush tool. This is in the newer versions of Photoshop and even in Elements. If I drag over this. I'm not crazy about this. Sometimes it works. It worked over there. So I'm going to hit edit, step backward, edit, step backward. I do this here. Keep looking at your work. That is satisfactory. I just go over here again, again. I don't like this. It's picking up the hair. I'm going to do an undo. I could go here. That's not bad. I could go over this line here, the fold line here. That is hideous. I'm going to show you another technique. This, it works faster, and you get really good results here. I use the smudge tool, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom this up a bit here, and I just go back and forth over this, do it slowly. So if I go over here, it's smudging that out, smudging this out, smudging this out, smudging that out. When you get into the face, you're going to have a few issues. you got to do this slowly. I tend to say do maybe one or two at a time. And I'm in the hair. And I could go into the face here. This could be tricky. Again, takes a little time, a little bit of patience. Smudging this, smudging this. Going to go up a little higher here. And then this one here where I was using that Band-Aid. See how it's going really good? And I tend to stop when I'm doing this because you can do great for like six inches. And then what's the, I would say the mouse hiccups. And you're not a happy camper. And you can see a little bit in the hair here. And you got that line on her forehead. It's kind of like a little bit of makeup. You got that line over there. Smudge into here. Smudge here. Around the glasses. A little bit more here. So I've got that. Go over to this side. I think you're getting the drift of what we're doing here. What I often say when you're doing this, step aside, shrink it down to see how it looks. We still have a little more to do over here. You're getting the idea. It looks natural. And I just go into the hair just a little slowly over here, top of her forehead. I still don't like this here. I could also use the clone stamp to do that, but that's doing a pretty good job. We have a little bit in this line here, and I'm just going to try again the spot healing brush tool. Make it very small. I can use the left bracket. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's a little doodad there. Not bad there either. I'll do a couple more. If I go over this. Pretty good. Pretty good. I got a little bit over on the forehead here. 
And I'm going to use the smudge tool again. You go back and forth. Do it slowly. Oop. Hit the wrong thing. Smudge tool. I hit the dodge and the burn tool. Unintentional, but I caught it right away. So, except for the upper left-hand corner, this thing looks much, much better than before by just after before a little bit more there some of these tips that i'm doing i'm using the quick and i would probably say dirty methods they are effective that way you get a satisfactory print you might have to do a little bit more detail cautious work if you're printing out let's say a 12 by 16 print versus a snapshot size